nice about that. They get to trick or treat, to, trick or treat together That's in right. their in their camouflage. Yeah. I love stories yeah. like that, mm -hmm. and, and we appreciate what, everything that the troops do for us, and especially when they're reunited yep. with their families, is touching for sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to have some nice weather for both those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Trick or treaters are going to have an A plus forecast, no rain, and it's going to be pretty mild, so you don't need coats to cover up those costumes. Here's a look, though, because kids, I do have to remind you, you have to make it through school first today before you head out and put those costumes on. But I'm sure all the teachers are going to have lots of festivities this afternoon or through the morning. Here's a look at that bus stop forecast as you head out the door. 60 degrees as those kiddos wait at the bus stop. Maybe a light jacket, but for some, not everyone, if you're just getting out, getting in the car, and getting into school or work, you probably really don't need much at all because this afternoon, highs are going to be flirting with 90 degrees. I think we'll stop in the upper 80s, but again, flirting with some record warmth there. Here's what I'm tracking today. We're going to see the sunshine, so that's dry, warm day yet again, but no rain for those trick-or-treaters. If you remember last year, it was deluge rain. A lot of folks had to get that trick-or-treating in super early just to avoid the rain. Those that didn't, well, it was a gully washer. Not this year and that string of dry days continues even though I'm not forecasting rain it's kind of a good news for today only because it is a holiday kids are going to be out and about we could absolutely use some wet weather we're now marching into almost 45 days without seeing any rainfall whatsoever Birmingham temperatures are at 59 right now a cool 53 in Aniston a clear sky with a pair of fives in Tuscaloosa Winds are calm at this hour, some lower 60s in the western part of Jefferson County. Centerville 58 with Alabaster at 57, Talladega down to Rockford 53 and 56 there respectively. So mild morning across the board and temperatures breaking down your day hour by hour. Should really hug that 60 degree mark until around 6 a.m. We're in the lower 60s between 7 and 8 and then look what happens. Once that sun rises, those temperatures are going to be climbing quickly. By 10 o'clock, we'll already be close to 80. Putting that in perspective, our average highs for this time of year should be in the lower 70s. We'll already be what our average high for the day is by 9 a.m. So that really gives you an idea of just how warm things are outside. Storm track radar right now showing a dry scan. And as we talk about tonight, as you're getting your costumes ready, I'm sure kids are excited about trick or treating and getting all that candy. Well, we're talking temperatures in the 70s. This is actually a really good forecast for tonight, but again, I say it a bit hesitantly only because we really could use the rain, but I'm glad the rain is holding off for all the kiddos that are going to be celebrating tonight and maybe some of those fall festivals going on this evening. No rain to worry about. And then we're going to see some changes later this week. Not sure we're going to see much in terms of wet weather, but we will see a bit of a cool down as we move towards the end of the week. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Our